Commander Shepard, I understand you've helped resolve the situation with the Geth. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received mm. information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll oh, be God. waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. What? Why? You have your own office, don't you? Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Vidcom. Like, I know why. It's because they don't want to build another room. <laughs> but still. Uh, I don't know if I want to go back to the Citadel, though. Nothing good happened the last time we went back. Seriously. Commander, something on your mind? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? Given the situation everywhere else as close as we can be, you've done well, Shepard. Okay, that's kind of vague. What about the extra help we've picked up along the way? Bringing in both the Quarians and the Geth has helped us immeasurably. The Quarian fleet is providing evac and fire support, while the Geth attack Reaper supply lines. What about the Turians and Krogan? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. Fantastic. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Asari and Salarians? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. Wow. And the Salarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the genophage cure. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No <laughs> problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, uh, we've no, heard this one before. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's some. Right, yeah, we've heard this one before. The blood All right. We'll put the blue suns to good. The eclipse. Don't want to know how. Well, you it sounds Arya's like we have. But whatever you did, it was worth it. It sounds like we have the support of most people in the galaxy now. Most of the big players, anyway. Asari, we haven't really done anything substantial with, I guess. Well, they, they almost lost a counselor. That's a pretty big thing. Maybe now we're going to go back to the Citadel for that. What's the Reaper situation? It's not trending well, even if you did buy Radix some time. Our threat projections show the Reapers will gain the advantage on most other fronts. And now the Asari are a prime target. Yes. They're the most advanced race in the galaxy. We'll soon find out if that means anything. Most advanced from what perspective? Like biotics and stuff? Genetically? Genetically advanced? That sounds a bit... <laughs> if I may, Admiral, I have a personal question. Speak freely, Commander. Why me? Why put me in charge of all this? Because you're the only soldier in this whole damn navy who knows how to kill Reapers. And I killed one on foot. You just have to be smart and hope you get lucky. Anyone can <laughs> figure it out. Your dossier says otherwise, Shepard. You were trapped on a coos all those years ago, and you were the only one to make it out alive. Back then, I saw more than just a soldier in the making. And because of that, you think I qualify to save the galaxy? Shepard, let me tell you something that I've learned the hard way. You can pay a soldier to fire a gun. You can pay him to charge the enemy and take a hill. But you can't pay him to believe. I don't follow, sir. When you went up against Sovereign, there was no good reason to believe you'd win. But your crew didn't seem to care. They went along anyway. Your trip through the Omega-4 Relay? That was a suicide mission, if there ever was one. Yet there your crew was, standing beside you, proud to serve. Why? Because they believed in you, their leader. That's what I need now. 
Where we were taking him was liable to get pretty hairy, and I know you're the one who will get us to the other side. That's true, that's true. I, like I said many times already, I don't believe Shepard's best ability is her technical military skill. It's because she has this way of attracting you and galvanizing you into action. It's just her personality. She's a born leader. Yeah, well, it sounds like we're all doing all right. All right. Nothing more, sir. Hack it out. Hmm. Well, we could be doing a lot worse, and the crucible is... It's coming along. It's coming along. Oh, everyone's gone now. The Quarians are gone, and Legion. Man, in the blink of an eye, Legion's gone, Morden's gone, Thane's gone. The stakes are going up and up and up. Whoa! We're almost at the full thing. We must be at the end already then, holy crap. Citadel Defense Force. Uh, Book of Planets. There must be something else here that I'm not sure about. Oh, Geth Jamming Frequencies, maybe? Mm hmm. Alliance. First Fleet. Arya's hacker stuff. Ah, treatments for chemical burns. Yup, yup. Asari. Second Fleet. Shepard passed the Reaper code fragment to Asari High Command. An isolated copy will be able to predict Reaper movements. Good. Krogan clans. We gave them Cacliosaurs. Mm hmm. It's like how back on Tuchanka we saw that one little hieroglyphic thing of Krogan's riding something. Geth Core. Until recently, the Geth expected nothing but violence from organics and designed themselves accordingly. All Geth platforms are armed, shielded, and built to withstand combat. When they're on the battlefield, enemy tactics and positions are swapped instantaneously between the AIs. The Geth also employ turrets and drones, expendable hardware support, to keep losses of networked platforms to a minimum. The result is the largest and perhaps best equipped inventory in the galaxy. So the Geth might be better suited for like single solo operations then because they're already like super coordinated amongst themselves. Geth Fleet. Every Geth ship, regardless of purpose, is capable of engaging hostile forces, unbound by the Treaty of Ferrixen, which is the treaty that says we can have a limited number of dreadnoughts, I believe. We read about it back in the Codex of One. The synthetic intelligence has built almost as many dreadnoughts as Aturians. The software running these ships is in the Geth themselves. Highly advanced electronic security measures and cyber warfare suits bolster already formidable firepower. Rewriting the Geth Heretic significantly boosted the processing power of the true Geth. Their increased strength made their fleets both more efficient and more lethal in battle. Okay. So in the beginning, when we didn't have the Geth on our side, then this would have been a bad thing, but I guess when it comes to now, it's a good thing. Good thing in terms of, like, war assets. Now we have more people. Civilian fleet, heavy fleet, and patrol fleet. Civilian fleet. Most of the Quarian flotilla, properly coordinated, they're not dedicated warships, but they have little lasers and weaponry and all that. They have Thanix cannons, which is the same as what we have on the Normandy. Oh my god. Oh? Why is the Geth stuff here? Is that supposed to be here? Oh, I guess so. The Geth are helping the Quarian fleet now? Okay. Hmm, but then the heavy fleet had some damage beforehand. Yeah, okay. Patrol fleet. Wow. Well, I mean, we are gonna go talk to the Asari counselor now, and with any luck, maybe we'll be like really close to this, whatever that means, but it's better to be there than not be there, right? Oh, <laughs> Legion's not here anymore. Tally is elsewhere. She probably has her own room now, which is a good thing. We just took down a Reaper without a giant Thresher Ma helping. Damn right. We just showed the galaxy we can beat him. We need to spread this news far and wide. Freaking Diana, get on it right now. Seriously. You've got new messages, Commander. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. 
He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Even someone who's not combat inclined feels this way now. Commander. We've all got to rally together. Let's talk Quarian War from Diana Allers. Great, yes, this will be a good time. It may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware the Quarians ever went into the Vale, let alone started a war with the Geth. We're sitting on a major piece of history here. I have material from all the players except you. Can I get into your cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on vid? Diana. Uh, I feel like this is gonna involve other things too, but uh, we'll see. Progress report from Admiral Ron. Commander, with assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seemed foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. Mm. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she'll find some way to improve its functionality. We don't even know how to use it, we don't even know what it does. I would never have believed you would talk hand down, Commander. Take care of Tali Zora for me. Kila Salai. Kila Salai, Admiral Ran. I found work to do from Tally. Shepard. Just wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adams in engineering. It seems like the best place for me to help, as long as I'm coming with you anyway. Please drop by when you have a minute. Yeah, I'm sure Adams would love to see you again too. Admiring your restraint from Garrus. Glad you were the one to talk to the Reaper. I would have just shot at some more for spite. It didn't even let us continue the conversation properly though. The wheel had like three choices, but I only did the left one and then it just didn't let me talk anymore. Nice work on Rannoch from Stephen Hackett. You were never one to miss a chance to make alliances, Commander. Nice work with a geth. Thank you. Proud of my kids from Jack. Rodriguez just ripped the husk's head off. Maybe some hope for her yet. <laughs> Glad to hear. Finding a new normal from Jacob. Hey, Shepard. Got all the family settled and everyone's working 24-7 now. Okay. Well, not 24-7, okay? Rest too. We can't have you all just be, like, walking zombies. That wouldn't be very good either. Hey Joker, heard about your expert maneuvering abilities. Maybe it's time for a pay raise. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. No, I could've killed the Geth. I could've. If it didn't work out, I would've. It's not their fault the Quarians were attacking them, but they were allied with the Reapers, so yeah. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kind of hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Edie sounds a little bit... like she has more thoughts on that. Commander? It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory but it is limited to a sample size of one society. 
The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor, don't ask them. That's a bigger question for another time. Hello, Shepard. Hmm. How machine society behaves. Edie is certainly one of a kind here. It's easy to forget, but Normandy is not a normal place where there's all sorts of geniuses and crazy people working here. It's quite the outlier. Cortez. I appreciate you checking in on me. Everything is in order. Sounds good. Everything is in order. James? How you doing? I can't believe you got the Geth and Quarians to play nice. You should get a medal for that alone. It looks like we just need to get the Asari on board, and we can finally focus on the Reapers. But I don't suppose it'll be as easy as all that. Nothing ever is. One step at a time, I guess. It should be. They see the rest of the galaxy's already on our side. What other convincing do they need? 300 years it took to take back the Quarian homeworld. I sure as hell hope it doesn't take that long for us. Whew. We wouldn't be able to see it then. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. I still can't believe you went inside a Geth. I, I don't even... Loco. Completely loco. Hey. <laughs> there's a there's a dirty joke somewhere in there. <laughs> okay, maybe let's try out a new weapon again. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey there. Bad dog. Bad dog. E anything I want to upgrade? Let's try out that new gun that we just got. The Typhoon. Oh, yeah, let's upgrade a shotgun as well, and a, and a sniper rifle, too. Uh, we'll just do a, a few upgrades, not to the max, maybe. Because it kind of is a little bit costly. Let's see. So next time, we'll try out the... Typhoon, not Typhoon. Damage. Oh, this one is better, right? Oh, no, no, no. Mm. I thought we had a different one. A different attack or damage increasing one. <laughs> That's not so much, really. This is a high fire rate, low damage weapon. And a very, very heavy weapon, too. Is that going to be okay, actually? Like, ooh, that's looking pretty bad. I'm not sure about that because I rely on my powers a lot. We could try using the ultralight. But I don't think the ultralight... I didn't really upgrade it. It's still at 1 right now, so it only reduces weapon weight by like 8%. <laughs> Which, uh, okay, apparently that's a lot, actually. Hmm. We can give it a go. We can... Can we upgrade my ultralight materials right here? I can, but I'm gonna go back to the Citadel soon anyway, so I won't. Just to save a little bit of money. Yeah, because we are going to go back pretty much right now anyway, right? Okay. And then in terms of sniper rifles and whatnot... Javelin... This one seems interesting. Mantis... Raptor... Just pick the highest damage one, right? Basically for sniper rifles. The Mantis... The Javelin... I... This is... Yeah, I mean, the fire rate is just as low, but this one is higher damage. Why not try this one then? So I'll make Garrus try this one later on. Javelin. Alright. The arc pistol is nice, but I'm also okay with trying something else. But I'll keep it for now, just to have one constant here. Shotguns. This is heavy. This is so heavy! Claymore. Get plasma shotgun. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the Geth Plasma Shotgun. And then we'll give it to whoever needs to use it later on. Yeah. Just so we have one good one, you know? And the Javelin, I wanna... Yeah, let's, let's have somebody try that. Although, this is one of those special ones, right? Like, it does something different. So I might wanna try it for myself anyway, but it's so heavy right now. It's so heavy. Okay, leave it at that for now. And... Oh! I've never seen that before!
before. It's just... It's sleeping. Ah! Streaming. I've never seen its eye change from red to purple pink before. Oh. Okay, okay, good dog, good dog. Nothing back here? No? Okay. Oh. Diana. <laughs> oh, I'll go to Javik first. Hi. How are you? Another Reaper has died. No thanks you to you. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians. Let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. They don't do it because they want to. <laughs> okay, thank you for your opinion. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. Okay. Commander. Okay. <laughs> Tally, do you, let me know if you want to be moved to a different floor, okay? Because I know there's a lot going on here. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just <sighs> listen to yourself. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure. We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. No! Well, that's a start. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what I meant, but, uh, well, as long as you guys are okay with, uh, progress. Shepard. Nothing to report. This guy's always joking around. He's- he might be one of those people who don't really let people in. He's just joking around eternally to mask everything else. Commander. Adams! Tally is back! Did you see? Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. And that's why the fleets are getting stronger because of the Geth? So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but... Yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. Oh, that's amazing! We still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. No, it was all Legion. I would have killed the Geth too. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. I can't believe it either. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. I'm so glad to hear. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. And these are things that would not have been possible without a peace. If you destroyed the Geth, 
you just never would have gone here. Or maybe it would have taken you significantly longer to get here. That's fascinating, especially if you think about the origins of the Geth as being creations of the Quarians, and now they're outsmarting the Master, so to say. Diana, interview. Soon. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the geth Quarian War. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? O okay. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Do we need to talk, Commander? <laughs> Not right now, Alice. <laughs> Let me know when we do. I suddenly have a very evil plan. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, though. <laughs> I'll let you know when it comes to it. Doggy, oh, you're walking around again! You little cutie doggy. Legion. Hey, Thane got moved to the other side. Thane was over there before, right? Now it's even again. Hmm. Impressed you got those two groups together. We'll see how long the peace lasts. Don't be such a downer! Commander. We're fighting a war right now, okay? If you want to lead your own crew and be a good commander, then stop saying these doubt-inducing things. You gotta keep morale high. Take care, Commander. Take care, Commander. Thank you, Karen. Yup, yup. Garrus, Garrus, our old crew is coming back together on the Normandy. Peace between the Geth and Corians. Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. And next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed <laughs> that one too. Now you're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. <laughs> Does this mean we're even for you beating me in sniping? Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. It'll take some time to get used to. Not right now. Yeah, we sent a bunch of Geth Primes back to Admiral Hackett, but I haven't heard about them working on the Crucible yet. I don't know how that's gonna work out. At the Crucible, wherever they're building it, there's gonna be Rachni walking around, Geth walking around, humans, Asari, everyone. Another Reaper gone, and peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors, Friends. There's still too many wounds on either side, but maybe one day. I wonder if all the individual Geth are going to get their own names from now on. Not just the Geth anymore. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. Perhaps we can talk later. Okay. Okay, Liara. Email from Sergeant Kavanaugh to Sergeant Ichi. Next time you want to warn me that the Geth are our friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots, I almost pissed myself when those primes started dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them until we realized they weren't firing back. Then this one comes over, said they're allied assistants, and asks for our status. I'm not complaining they saved my crew, but I'm never living down having to apologize to a Geth for shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> That's not good, that's not good. We have to tell everybody. The Geth are our friends now. That's not good. At your service. Okay, Diana. Ready for that interview? Because I am. I even put on my nice suit for the interview today. Okay, my fish are still alive. The eel is here. Yeah, we've got two eels. <laughs> what if I put on my hoodie for the interview? <laughs> That'd be insane. Okay. Hey, we got all the models now. I think. Nice, nice. What's that one? That one's big. The one in the corner there. The Citadel is the only moving one, though. Everyone else is static, so I'm guessing that's the most expensive one. Okay. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. 
She's on her way, Commander. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies, and no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What you have to realize is that despite their reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? The Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not gonna turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Wow. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Okay. Oh, I thought she was gonna... I thought she was gonna ask me for more. I guess not. Cause you know, we talked about how she was done with me for today and then like the next time she came, I thought she would do something. Cause my little evil plan that I was hatching earlier that I wasn't gonna do, but I thought about it, was to sleep with her if that was an option and then kick her off the ship. <laughs> Is that possible? That's, that's all sorts of messed up, but you know, it's fun to think about. I'm not gonna do it because you know, we're committed to Liara and all that now, but um, fun to think about. <laughs> all right. Is it back to the Citadel now, or is there other stuff we can do first? First of all, we should probably go talk to the Dr. Bryson in the DLC then. Leviathan DLC. It seems too good to be true, from Tally. Even without Geth in suits, we're getting some nice upgrades. Geth code plus Quarian ingenuity is something to see. It is! Look at how much we can accomplish just by working together. It's great to see. Goodbye, Rannoch. Hopefully you'll be doing better than before. And now... Oh no, Hades Nexus! Right here. Okay, we can do that. Is that the only new one that popped up? Oh, Cilia Nebula also got updated. Okay, we'll do those ones before going back to the Citadel then. The more we do the planet scanning in Mass Effect 3, the more I feel like it was crazy how many planets there were in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Signal confirmed. Yeah, like this this feels a little bit more reasonable. Not like a billion systems and a billion planets. Asteria, a planet known for its arid sulfurous deserts. It's colonized near the poles to avoid the uncomfortable temperatures, up to 65 degrees Celsius and more southern latitudes. Hmm. Travel advisory. There are carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. People should carry supplemental oxygen for children and the elderly. Is that just for humans or what? Does every single species breathe oxygen? All the organics? I guess so. Alliance Bulletin. Geth have been encountered in the Hecate system. All civilian traffic is prohibited. What? No, no. We love the Geth now. I guess it's still probably a good idea for people not to be around Geth for now, though. Alliance Frigate, Hong Kong. Fifth Fleet. Awesome. No? No? Oh! 380. Oh, I had full! I had it full. Evasion successful. 
Hoplos, Pamyat, Shoal. I found something. Makaira. It's a small rock planet. Nothing really special here. What did I find? Copis, Makaira's largest moon. Very thin atmosphere. Crust is largely silica based. No signs of water. Low gravity. Oh, an obelisk. Probably something to raise somebody's morale. 50%. There's a there's a big planet right on the very edge of the system here. That's a little bit strange, right? Because usually I feel like of the planets that we've seen, the further away from the sun, the smaller the planet. But this one's huge. Where'd you come from? Aegis. Aegis was a site of an unparalleled cosmic event roughly 1.8 million years ago. An extrasolar body about 200 square kilometers in size was drawn into Aegis's gravity well and struck the Jovian planet, blasting enough dust and material into orbit to create a ring. An urban legend has grown over this event. The story goes that if an extrasolar body, usually called a comet, was unaffected by the gravity well of Aegis, it would have coincided with an orbit of Trident and created an extinction-level event on the planet. Prevailing scientific opinion holds that this is an exaggeration at best. <laughs> but we all love our urban legends. It is a little bit strange though, just looking at it. Signal confirmed. A lot of these systems seem to be named Haiti something. The Bravalski, another Earth-sized rock planet. It is home to Altai Mineral Works, which extracts Ezo and refines Ezo. Where there's Ezo, there's an economy. Come on. How far away are you going to make me drag? Leapzig. It's a nice little reminder of the places back on Earth. All these place names. Uh oh. 100? Good enough, I'll take it. Thank you, goodbye. Reapers eluded. Show. Very small. I found something. Gay Hinnom. The first place human explorers discovered a dedicated Prothean burial ground. While a few sites were saved for posterity, Eldfell Ashland Mining successfully lobbied to scout the rest of the planet for Element Zero, and soon was embroiled in a scandal. Mining teams were looting grave sites searching for Ezo and other treasures, and many got rich off the so-called cemetery business. Oh, wow. They stopped looting the graves, but they continued mining. Travel advisory, armed conflicts have broken out. Because everyone's taking claim to the Prothean ruins, visitors are advised to employ security when exploring. There's still 11k people here. Prothean Sphere. Hey, maybe that's like one of those things we found back in Mass Effect 1. Remember the one that we saw where it gave us like a, like a mini visual novel thing? Yeah, what was that all about? To this day, nobody knows. Uh oh. Just let me out of here. At the mass relay. Faster than light jump successful. Whew. Thank you for not destroying it. Calliston Rift. Did we. I don't think we had this before, right? Balor? Oh god. Okay, maybe there's nothing here for the moment. It seems like it. Okay, I'm out of here. I thought this place was okay Invasion because successful. it's blue. I thought there were no reapers here, <laughs> but there's a whole ton. 
Am I leaving too fast though? Because it felt like there's nothing here. That seems like it's gotta be wrong. But it should usually be near the planets. Doesn't seem like there was anything here. Papers <gasps> eluded. <laughs> oh, that was close. Yeah, okay. Cilia Nebula? Right, new systems opened up. Hmm? Wreckage. The Asari once had enormous solar collectors around the bluish-white A0V star Larapi, using the star's considerable heat to create antiprotons for military starship fuel. Now, all that can be detected is scrap. Reapers emerge from dark space near the Cilian Nebula Cluster and establish a front in Larapi's system. The Asari fleet that guarded what used to be known as Espoda Station cannot be found. It is scattered and destroyed. One can only hope that the backup reactors in the Kiplodon system do not fall, or the Asari fleet will have precious little fuel. Guarding a galaxy seems really, really difficult because people can come from all sides. You just can't predict where the Reapers are going to come from. It's not like we're up against a wall. Signal confirmed. Oh. Decilium. Minor rock planet. Extrasolar capture. Some mining colonies here. Armali sniper unit. Armali. I'm not sure what that is. 50%. Okay, this is not good. Where's the last one? Faster than light jump successful. We also don't have that much fuel. I'm a little bit worried. Just a little bit. Ah! Here's my fuel. But can I make it out of here? Ah! <laughs> that was a little bit too close. Okay, okay, okay. Evasion successful. Nahuala. Oh, actually, there's a lot of bigger planets on the outside, huh? I thought it was rare, I found but something. Maybe I'm wrong. More fuel, thank you. Thank you very much. There's a ring of debris around the system. Hai... Hai Tiana. A bastion of research for the Asari. Multiple observation outposts, glacial drilling stations, and educational institutions. Xenobiologists visit here. The Reapers destroyed... Haitiana spaceports and its uniformed defense forces. As with the other Asari planets, the Reapers force the heavily biotic population into surrender through threats of massive retaliation, rather than assault by husks alone. 190 million people here! It's an important place. How are the Reapers gonna know if they've gotten everybody? I'm just wondering here because, yeah, they're going to the popular places right now, like the Citadel or Palavin and all that. But how are they gonna know? Reapers eluded. When they finish harvesting everybody. Do they have a checklist? I don't imagine so. Signal confirmed. The Kuna! The Kuna! Elcor Homeworld! Oh wow, it looks so pretty! Overflows with natural resources protected by law, from large deposits of precious metals to vast forests. The Elcor themselves live in rich grasslands near the equator. Yeah, makes sense because they can't really jump, right? So not much water here. The majority of the Kuna settlements are tucked within this belt, as the conservative Elcor feel a little desire to build outside their comfort zone. Their twin capitals are for migrations from the wet season to the dry season, a tradition made obsolete by modern technology but still observed. After the destruction of the Elcor Navy, 
Reapers moved in their ground troops to occupy the cities. This has taken longer than most civilized worlds, as the Elkor have spread out into smaller distant settlements, reflecting their preference for close-knit family communities instead of densely packed cities. 2.3 billion people here, oh my god. But the Reapers are here already, and no one's helping them. I'm not an Elcor, so I don't have time to care about the Elcors as much. Nobody's really championing for them, and they're just getting destroyed. Faster than light jumps. The Elcor, the Volus. Oh boy. Evasion successful. I'm gonna need you to be able to find that planet. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, this is looking bad. There it is. Faster than light jump successful. Now we come back. Get it. And go. Evasion successful. Oh. And that would be 70%. We still have Teolia. This one's a little bit further away. I found something. Nevos, first discovered by Asari pioneers in 430 CE, a vibrant garden planet, home to a thriving Asari colony. It feels like a frontier away from regulation and oversight. There's beaches here and towering cliffs. There are some influential political lobbies established here because of how it feels like it's outside of regulations. It looks pretty earthy. A lot of greens here. Yes, rings of a loon. Now we can probably get closer to going back to the Citadel and finish off all the um, fetch quest stuff. Oh! Oh! Quiresia. Ooh, look at it! What is it doing? The bands are like moving independently of the planet itself. What? Yeah. It's surrounded by a band of seven large moons that form the necklace, a reference to a legendary jewel owned by the ancient Asari queen, for which Quiresia was named. This is an extra solar capture? Or maybe it's a... Uh, it's a planet with a decaying orbit. Which is a horrifying prospect to tourism and immigration boards of Nevos. Since they would eventually be in the gas giant's path. Oh no. Might want to think about migration plans soon. Credits! That's new. We find money on a random planet? Intergalactic money! Oh boy. Reapers eluded. Come on, there's gotta be one more here somewhere. Hey, there's only two Reapers! Only two. Ha! Ah! Faster than light jump successful. Come on, come on. Really? This is not near the planets? Evasion successful. Where are you, buddy? Ah! Okay, that, uh, let's go out first. Reapers eluded. There we go. Fuel, thank you very much. So convenient. Otherwise, Faster I would have run out of fuel successful. so many times over. There's no fuel depots anywhere. The Reapers seem to be destroying the fuel depots, but not the mass relays for some reason. <laughs> oh, there's one here. Hmm. Alright. Time to go back to the Citadel.